Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. In the Google Chrome web browser for desktop, we get the global media controls in the top right of the uh, browser, which uh, is a shortcut button, which lets you control your music, videos, and media that is playing in the browser, as many of you know, with your live caption accessibility option available in English only. And this is an accessibility feature which places a text in a live caption window that is playing from the video for those who require that function and option. So just to demonstrate in case you're unaware, um, there we can see the um, text from the audio uh, from that uh, uh, video that is playing now in the background, which as mentioned is an accessibility feature in Google Chrome. Now, if we just head over to uh, Microsoft Edge Canary, which is a preview version um, of the Edge browser. There we also get uh, the global media controls where you can control your music, videos and media that's playing in the uh, uh, browser. And this is not a default feature in Edge Canary and we have to use a flag to enable it. But in this video, um, it's just a quick video to let you know that um, the uh, live caption option and feature now, Microsoft is also starting to test now uh, using the global media controls uh, in Microsoft Edge Canary. And it's early days um, and um, it is a default option now, but uh, um, it isn't actually showing the text. So it's a little bit unstable, but um, it is an indication though that Microsoft is heading in that direction uh, to make the global media control and the live caption available in the Edge browser, possibly in an up-and-coming stable version in the future. So first of all, if you want to enable the uh, global media control, we have to use a flag. Um, if you just head to your address uh, uh, bar and just enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. And uh, um, I've already enabled it, as you can see, and it's called global media controls. And it says enables the global media controls you are user interface in the toolbar. And you just enable that flag and restart Edge Canary to apply it. And then now if we just head back and when we click on that, you can see um, over and above the global media control, uh, we have the new live caption English only option available as well uh, in uh, Edge Canary now that Microsoft has started to test. Now, um, if we just head over to the settings menu quickly, and head over to the accessibility page. Yeah, you'll see there's also an option here, live captions preview, um, creates English US captions when audio is playing in Microsoft Edge. Audio and captions never have, uh, sorry, never leave your device. You can click on learn more and you will see uh, uh, if we toggle it on, it also toggles it on in the global media controls and vice versa. If we toggle it off there, it toggles it off in the uh, live captions page as well. So just to try this out, um, if we just head back to our new tab page and I go and I enable it, uh, as mentioned, though, you're not going to see any text. It's just the window at this stage as it's early days and it's still a little bit unstable. Play a video from my channel and there you can see uh, the live captions. It says preview is not available right now and that will be the window where your um, your live captions will display the text plane from your relevant uh, media as showed in the Google Chrome um, uh, browser at the beginning of this video. So as mentioned, live captions available now in Edge Canary. Um, as you can see, very unstable, but it is an indication that Microsoft um, is heading in the direction of adding this to the browser, possibly in an up, up and coming version of the stable version in the future. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.